Welcome to Martini Time. It's been a beautiful Sunday here in Blackstone. Uh, and we're getting ready for the eclipse tomorrow. And it's going to be a clear day, I believe. So I'm kind of pumped up about it. Um, I remember seeing an eclipse before. I can't quite remember when it was. But I do remember the hush, the dimming of the lights. The street lights came on. The birds stopped singing. What's going on? So I've been writing about this today and meditating upon it uh, as I do, ruminating on something and connecting dots, and uh, it enlivens my day. And so let's talk about the eclipse. Uh, first of all, it has helped me tremendously because of my study with Joseph Campbell since 1970 and the understanding of mythology and particularly the mythologies of the sun and the moon. And uh, this has been the, 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 all of our human history, and including right now, but we don't realize it, is governed by these mythologies. But now we don't see mythologies because of our rational, materialistic uh, worldview. Mythology has been wiped clean, you see. And Campbell said, modern man's in free fall because he's lost his mythological grounding. But it's still there. We're just not conscious of it. Mythology is part of the collective, you see. It's, archi it's, it's our archetypes. So anyway, let's talk about that. Um, so, the, um, even the, um, well, of course we know that, that basically the sun, for the, for the, you know, for the primitive mind, for our ancient minds, you know, the, the sun governed the day, the moon goddess governed the night. So the sun was, was, was masculine, the moon was feminine. She, her domain was the night, the phantom of the opera. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the shadows, the mystery, the damp, the coolness the darkness, all of this uh, other half of the sun. So it's kind of like our, our earth has been, our human consciousness has been like a yin-yang. And the, uh, you know, like this, you know, the sun and the moon. And the sun chases the moon. And she rises during the night. And like a snake, she sheds her skin and then her skin and comes back again. She's the dying and she, the moon goddess, the goddess, her symbols are the horn, the, 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 uh, 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 the, the horns of the moon, and the dying and resurrected sun, and the snake, because the snake sheds its skin. So dying and resurrection is the son of the goddess, the Virgin Mary. You see? The little Virgin Mary holding the dying and resurrected son. The dying and resurrected son is the moon. It's full, then it dies, then it disappears for three days like Jesus in the tomb, then it rises again, then you have the full moon, then it dies. This is the cycle of the planting societies. Planting societies, the god was the goddess who governs the the night, the planting at night in the dark in the dew, you know. So the moon, the tides, farmers know this. They're lunar people. They govern the planting by the moon. You see. And the bright light of the sun is the sun god of of the uh, daytime, the classical. You know, the daylight, the reason, the rational clarity. So my father was a sun god. Just jumping around now, hang in with me. He was a naval officer. And the naval officer was the son of God. You got the hat and the, and the sun drips gold, you see. The gold of the sun drips on his hat, drips on his shoulder, drips on his sword, you see, drips on his buttons, you see. And my mother orbited around him like the moon. See, the moon orbits around, <laughs> you see. The moon is, the goddess orbits around 
the sun, the, the, uh, the sun god, you see. So this is kind of like a framework, too, of the, of the uh, male and female mythologies. And it's all, you know, blended together. But, but, uh, and also the Republican and the Liberal Party have been associated with the sun and the moon. I was just reading an article about uh, how this, uh, I forgot, well, it wasn't an article, it was a video, how the, uh, uh, this conservative was, uh, um, in some talk, I don't know, he was uh, uh, destroying the loony liberals. And I got to think, loony liberals, loony, loon is the moon. So the liberals have been associated with the moon, wishy-washy, flip-flop, passive in the Republican pantheon, you see, ever since uh, the, the rise of movement conservatives. The flip-flop, flip-flop, dying and resurrected, can't be one or the other. Flip-flop, feminine, passive, not heroic, not certain, not, well, principle, not of a fixed position, you see. So the sun is kind of fixed. The moon is just changing, you know, flowing, wiggly, changing shadows, can't quite see what's clear. Uh, uh, you see what I mean? These two uh, images, these two metaphors have kind of like shaped our politics. And the eclipse now, the eclipse, which is what I started out talking about, is, is a mystical thing. Uh, it's kind of like a natural wonder. It's kind of like going to the edge of the Grand Canyon and looking over, whoa, have you ever been there? You just, you go up to it and suddenly, you just, your mind stops. Your mind stops. And during the eclipse, the mind stops. Everything is paused. Everything is hushed in the wonder of the sun and the moon coming together. It's like a kid who sees mommy and daddy who were divorced get together. Mommy and daddy are kissing. <gasps> Hush. <laughs> you see? Mommy and daddy are not fighting. They're not chasing each other. They're not running from each other. The moon, the mommy is not running from the daddy. You see, <laughs> they meet in the eclipse. And this is in Zen, the yin-yang. It's Taoism, right? So in the yin-yang, the, yin the yang is chasing the yin, and finally there's an eclipse, and there's a wholeness for a moment. <gasps> Zen is called Satori. It's the, it's the moment the opposites come together and you, your mind is whole. You see, in the wonder of seeing, not in thinking. See, so you get the sun is kind of like the, uh, the rational mind and the moon is the emotional mind. And they're chasing each other and they never get together. The moon is the body, the sun is the mind. And they're not together, they're always chasing each other. But in the eclipse, the mind and the body become one. They're making love, and it's kind of like a cosmic orgasm, <laughs> you see? And so this is the, you know, so this is a lot of, to me, it's a lot of metaphorical, I mean, and it's, and it's you know, this certainly not factual. Art, metaphor, is not factual. It connects dots. So we get a sense of something larger than just the scientific facts. Oh, yeah, it's always right. Somebody says, oh, big deal. That's eclipse, all the hype, big deal. What's the big deal? Say, well, what's the big deal about the Grand Canyon? You know, so what's the big deal about Mount Everest? What's the big deal about anything wondrous, you see? Oh, what's the big deal? We get so jaded, you see. Oh, what's the big deal? It's all just flat facts. Ho oh, hum, give me a drink. <laughs> you see, we're so jaded. We're so flat, you see. We've lost, the, the, we've lost our metaphorical depth. We've lost our mythical depth, you see, you see. But anyway, so I've been connecting dots today, as I usually do, and um, kind of like a, a poetic philosopher, I think, because I think in metaphors, but I'm also philosophical. So in a way, I too put the moon and the sun together. The sun of rational thought, the moon of mystery, art, leprechauns, unicorns, mythology, the shady areas, you see, uh, the straight of the sun and the wiggly of the night. These two 
are always incompatible, yet they are always working. Uh, keep pulling this up. They're always working together. So the 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 leap, the quantum leap that is required of us as humans is to put them together and see the whole, the eclipse, the moment when everything comes together and your mind just opens to the hush and the wonder of it all. You see, so this. Uh, and I've been writing today. I, I connect everything up. I don't care. <laughs> I even connect Trump with it. So you got 50 years of the Sun Republicans chasing or fighting or running from or trying to subdue the moon liberals, the loony liberals, the lunacy, loony to loon, you see, loon is moon, loony liberals. You can see this in the, uh, particularly in the political campaigns. Kerry was hung by being a flip flopper. You see, the Republicans have always put flip-flopping, unprincipled, wishy-washy, passive, uh, not, not heroic, uh, afraid to go to war, won't fight. All of that's been laid on the liberals, you see. And I'm not saying anybody's guilty here, I'm just saying the way the mythology's been framed. So it's been basically Republican male, liberal female, liberal moon, Republican son, sun god, you know, father knows best. The woman up orbits around the male. And of course in the south, uh, the white male and the woman on a pedestal, the goddess, and then all the black, happy black people below, kind of like the pyramid, you see. So anyway, <laughs> we're going through a stage right now. We're going through an eclipse. We can't see it because we're so close to it. And I really think Trump is the eclipse. Trump really, you know, if you look at the Republican Party in its efforts to be the sun god, the light, the rational choice, you see, the light against the darkness, uh, this mythology has played out. But now it's come to its end. Thanks to Trump, he has eclipsed it by turning the Republican sun god, the Republican rational principled position into a Looney Tunes. <laughs> so Trump has made the Republicans loony and exposed their mythology, you see. So everything is flipping now. So after Trump, the Republicans are going to be the Looney Tunes because they've destroyed their uh, certainty and their uh, hold on rational conservative principles. Trump has no principles. And the Republican Party in giving birth to Trump has destroyed their moral authority. When Trump said Nazis are okay, everybody's doing it, Phew, that was the eclipse of moral authority right there. If you find good in the Nazis, where do you stand, you see? So all over the country now, the statues are coming down. And I, thought, I just thought, this is the sign of an end of an age. When Saddam comes down, there was a picture of uh, after, the, after the Declaration of Independence in Boston, I think, they pulled down the statue of King George. When the stone gods come down, that's the end of an age. When the stone gods come down, that's a sign that the age, an age is ending. The old republic, the old tent of the, of, of the uh, politics, the mythology of politics that we've lived in for the past 50 years is coming down. It's coming down. There's a new paradigm. There's a new energy. There's a new inclusiveness. There's a new uh, mythology coming up, and it's not the pyramid with the white male on top and the trickle down, or the white or the wealthy guy on top. You see, that's the one Sanders was attacking. The pyramid with the white, with the wealthy guy on top. It's not racial, he's wealthy. The CEO is the philosopher king, you see. Because he's wealthy, that means he's anointed by God and should rule us. Obviously, he's successful. 
because he's got wealth, so he knows how to run the country. That's the pyramid, you see. That's the plantation owner on top. And all us below are kind of like the, uh, the women folk and the slaves and the, and the uh, uh, white uh, sharecroppers. So this pyramid mythology uh, is, is like a geometric, it's is like a fill in the blank with people. <laughs> the pyramid takes many forms. But the mythology that's taking place now is the circle. Is the circle, you see. And the internet is a great uh, paradigm for the new mythology. Everyone, and I keep saying this every morning, from Blackstone, this is the center of the world. But you're the center too. Everybody's the center of the world. In the pyramid mythology, just the guy on top is the center of the world and we're all waiting for trickle down. We're waiting for, this, for the gold to dribble down. Maybe a little piece will land on me. It's like the lottery, maybe I'll get a little piece of gold, you see, to trickle down. But in the circle, which the internet is the parent, you know, your cell phone, uh, I don't have it with me, T take your cell phone. That's the center of the internet universe. Wherever you go, you're the center. And you interact with it. You're not passively receiving the internet like we did on TV. When TV first came out, this, you were, we were passive consumers of information. You didn't interact with it. You just sat there and looked at it and took it all in. Notice how that's changed? We don't do that anymore. Everything is interactive now. Every individual is the center of the universe. That's the new paradigm. The center without a boundary. As soon as you put a wall up on the internet, you kill it. As soon as you put a boundary up, you destroy it. So who is Trump? The first thing he did, let's put up a wall. Let's put up a wall, you see. <laughs> a totally different paradigm that's going against the evolution of our life, of America. So we're moving from an inclusive mythology or an exclusive mythology of us against them, with us on the top of the pyramid and them on the bottom, or not even in the picture, you see. We're going from that to an inclusive mythology, a growth mythology, a globalism mythology. The globe, the planet, is creating new holons of integration and systems. You go to Walmart and really just start looking at what's going on there. It's an integrated systems with the whole globe. Everything's from everywhere. Try putting up a wall in that. <laughs> Try put. You see, we don't really, <laughs> we're thinking in old, we're looking at the new world with old mind, with old lenses, with old mythology, you see. So this eclipse is kind of like a metaphor for, whoa, something is happening here. These old mythologies are coming together and we're renewed in the eclipse because the polarity ends. The fight of me versus them ends. The fight of the sun against the moon ends. And they make love. They come together. And the whole world goes, oh, shh, quiet, quiet, quiet. The god and his goddess are finally together. Mommy and daddy are back together. The family is one again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thanks for dropping in.